Buongiorno. Welcome to KXP. I'm Derek Mazzoni. I do a show called Wopop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. Tonight, I have a special gift for you. Justin Adams and Mauro Durante on KEXP. <laughs> Justin Adams and Mara Durante on Wapop, on KEXP. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Be well, be safe.
Justin Adams, Mauro Durante. New record is called Still Moving. On okay, Cakesby.
viața publică, eu la pajero Vinde la viața publică, eu la pajero Și nu me la vădare, nu mi o încantare Și nu me la vădare, nu mi o încantare Vinde la viața publică, las publicero Vinde la viața
love with these strings and this drum from another world they come bringing messages of peace and songs of sweet release these strings and this drum from another world they come bringing messages of peace and songs of sweet release Beautiful work. Was that like uh, the the biography of the band, the yeah, duo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more about it. like what what brought this about? Uh, really, sometimes uh, you know my age, and I you know I'm not sure whether Maro's uh, looking at it in quite the same way, but um, you look and you think, what have I? devoted my life to music for what you know what's it what's it all about you know because yeah. it's, it's a pretty strange life choice in a way you you know there's lots of ups and downs and stuff like that and then you think actually it's such a privilege to be involved with such a powerful and positive force in the world and not everybody gets to do that you know a lot of people have to deal with a lot of the uh, the tough and difficult and you know necessary um, things in life and you know we're involved in something which is about uh, lifting the spirits and giving giving people something yeah. great and sharing you know and it it uh, it heals us and it you know so uh, so that's what the two that's about. beautiful that's beautiful and it's perfect because you led me right up to the question that I wanted to ask you was like and the what is what is the purpose of what not purpose that's the wrong word what's the intention behind this project? Because you're dealing with a lot of history. I've known your work for a long time, mm. known you for a long time. Mm. Um, you're a new friend, but you tap into a very long history tied to the roots of uh, Leah, where you're from. Um, what's the intention behind this particular duo? And you've worked with other musicians before, obviously, but what, what's, the, what's this stew making? Well, I think that the driving force is the desire to be together and make music together. And as Justin said, we feel, we feel really privileged to have the chance to connect with people through our music. And I think that in a way, our encounter, our project is in some sort of a, an example. Like we met through music and we travel to meet the world the same way. We get a chance to show people that it's possible to connect, possible to interact despite differences in languages and music and traditions and uh, any kind of, you know, age, 
and uh, it's all about this desire to be together. Thank you. So the new record is still moving, came out in 2021, one of my favorite records of 2021. Great job. Thank you. Um, you're touring right now and you're singing songs in English and Italian and I want to let our audience know what the songs are about. So can you tell me what Amara Terra Mia is about, Maro? That's an Italian classic pop song, an old one, which was uh, sung by Domenico Modugno, super famous uh, pop singer, uh, who was originally from Puglia, but then uh, got to be some sort of representative of Italy all over the world. He's the one who wrote and sang, an example, uh, Nel Blu Dipinto di Blu, Polare, a super famous Italian song. Okay. Yeah. But then this song is a, uh, it's a darker one. It's a song of nostalgia about a man who is forced to leave his land. The song is called Amara Terra Mia, which means bitter land of mine. Mm -hmm. And in a way, what we are experiencing today all over the world is that that kind of uh, feeling of suffering, of emotion uh, is alive. And you can relate to that anywhere in the world. And uh, Koopa Koopa. Well, Koopa Koopa comes, I mean, the, the melody uh, and, you know, and the style comes from uh, southern Italy, some areas of Puglia and as well of uh, Basilicata, Lucania. It's Scupa Cupa is the name of an instrument of a friction drum, which uh, is an omatopaic, the sound Cupa Cupa. It's like the, mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. sort of replica of, the, of that sound that the instrument makes. And it's a rhythm and a style of singing. We base our own competition, uh, co composition and song uh, on that rhythm of that ancient melody, quoting some of the verses we were sang, which were basically a love serenade, which was also a way to socially engage with the family of the uh, woman that, uh, that um, you were supposed to marry. Mm -hmm. So it's a, for us, it's a, a way to work around the rhythm. We feel good, a groove. We feel good working on and then uh, mixing our own styles. Okay. So, Justin, you've been working with these, let's say, healing musical um, uh, systems, uh, be it North Africa, West Africa, and now with Mauro, with Taranta and the, the, the kind of energy that that's, that makes. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to talk a little bit about that with you, but I want to kind of pivot a bit because you released a record in 2021. You're touring now. You're two musicians that are touring all over the world. And obviously the world is a complicated place. At this particular time, there's a lot of uh, visual representation of how bad the world can be, and yet at the same time, how hopeful it can be. You guys being musicians, presenting this type of healing energy, knowing where you are, knowing what's going on in the world, how do you interpret and how do you present this when it's like people are freaking out, be it Ukraine, be it Gaza? Um, how do you present that music with that healing intention to your audiences? Or do you? Well, I mean, you know, I think we're all <laughs> aware of how incredibly insignificant and small, you know, we're just doing this little tiny, tiny thing and, you know, it's a niche within a niche and, you know, so I can't have any kind of very grandiose uh, um, ideas of... of but, I mean, there's a quote actually from an Italian writer, which I'm going to misquote now, but it's um, Italo Calvino. And uh, I can, if I can quote from him roughly uh, from the book Invisible Cities, and he says uh, that the inferno, uh, i.e. hell, is not something that's in the future. It's with us right now, you know, and people are, uh, are, are suffering it right now. And... Um, the you, there are two ways to 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 get through that either you become part of it or um you become careful at discerning what is it inferno and what is not and then all you can do is find what is not inferno and um make it endure and give it space you know and so uh, so that's so so i always think that's about the best kind of that's beautiful. idea really that makes sense mm. that makes sense Mauro, you want to add anything? Well, it's, uh, it's impossible not to relate with what's happening. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, it, since uh, he quoted an, uh, an Italian writer, I, have, I, I, I want to quote uh, an English uh, 
singer songwriter we we have to, had the chance to uh, see live last year in uh, Adelaide in uh, at Warm Adelaide Festival and um, uh, and that's Billy Bragg and uh, he said that music hasn't got the power to change the world My, but music has got the power to make you believe the world can be changed mm, belly that's perfect thank you thank you so much for being here really appreciate your time really appreciate the work um, so you got a tune to KEXP I'm Derek Mazzoni we had Amaro Duarte and uh, Justin Adams in the studio today thanks for supporting us thanks to our amazing video and audio crew uh, be well and um, subscribe Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.